friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are going to make face masks with our Cricut Maker and fabric. So if you've got a Cricut Maker and you haven't yet used it to cut out fabric, today is the day. This is a great beginner's project. And don't worry if you do not have a Cricut Maker, um, but you have some scrap fabric laying around, like even a t-shirt, like an older t-shirt that you don't mind cutting up, there is a template that you can use um, and cut it out by hand. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you what we're doing and then we'll come back over to the craft table and I'll show you what we've got and how to put this all together. So let's get going. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and we're on the homepage. So on the homepage right now, there are a ton of the masks, different choices, and I'm gonna walk you through those. But if you get to the homepage, you know, in a week or something and they're not there anymore, you can always search for them, just search face mask. So there are a couple different versions. There's the child face mask with the flexible nose. Um, and this one is more of a pleated look. They also have the adult version and they have, um, an explore no so version. We have the maker, we're using the maker today, so we're gonna use the adult no so face mask, but they also have um, this version, which I just adore, it's so cute, right? Um, but it's a very fitted um, face mask, and they have the maker and the explore version of that too. So depending on what machine you have, you have several different choices. And again, if you do not have a machine, um, I'm gonna put links down below um, to the Cricut blog where you can get the template. Okay, so I have already added one to my projects. So let's go into my projects and we'll go to the mask and I'm gonna customize it because I want to show you a couple things. Okay, so let's reduce the size of our screen so you can see the full thing. So this piece of fabric is 12.5 inches. And obviously that's gonna be larger than our 12 by 12 mat. So if you have a 12 by 24 mat and you wanna make multiple ones, that's great. If you don't have the larger mat and you would like to cut it on a 12 by 12, no worries. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and select make it. Now once we're on the mat, of course it's screaming at us, telling us that it's too big. So we're gonna say okay, and then we're going to take it and rotate it. Now, rotating is okay with um, the knowledge that you need to make sure that you're cutting the fabric, like the longest piece of your cut is along the stretchiest piece of your fabric. So that's not a problem. I'll show you how to do that when we get on to um, the craft table, but just make sure that this piece of the fabric is that stretchiest portion. Okay, so our maker is connected and now it's telling us to set the material. And we, of course, don't want glitter iron on, so we're gonna go to browse all materials. We're gonna go to fabrics. And what I am using is a t-shirt fabric, which is just a cotton, okay? And so we are going to put in our rotary blade and we're ready to cut. So let's hop over to the craft table and we'll cut out our fabric and put it on our mat. And I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so here we are on the craft table, and so let me show you what I'm working with today. So I have my Cricut Maker. I have a pink mat, so this is the fabric grip mat. I have uh, my measuring tape, I have my scissors, I have a straight edge, and um, this is my t-shirt, and then I have a rotary cutter. And this, to me, is the best thing to cut fabric with. If you do not have a rotary cutter, of course, just use your scissors. And then this is my self-healing cutting mat. So I'm gonna move these things out of the way really quick, and we're gonna go ahead and trim out our t-shirt. Okay, so I have my t-shirt on my self-healing mat, and what I'm gonna do is, because my design is roughly, or you know, it's gonna fit long ways on a 12 by 12 mat, I can get two masks out of this fabric. I just wanna make sure that my mat is gonna fit, so roughly right in this area. Okay, so now I have moved and I have my design here. It's got a little piece of a design, so I'm going to be using a diagonal, so I'm not gonna worry about that so much. So let's go ahead and cut off the edges of the shirt and the hem, and I'm going to use my ruler. This ruler makes cutting so much simpler. Turn it up. Okay. 
And by the way, I'll put links to all of these down in the description below in case you don't have some of these materials and you would like to have them. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna flip my mat over. This is my self-healing mat. And this is just gonna make it a whole lot easier to cut a 12 by 12 piece. Okay. So that it fits on our mat. Okay, so now we have two pieces of fabric from the same t-shirt to make two masks. And then remember what it said about the stretchy way, making sure that it's on the mat, the stretchy way. So what we need to do is just make sure, let's move our things out of the way. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply my fabric to the mat. And this fabric um, is pretty stretchy. I think it depends on the t-shirt. I mean, it would be best if you put it this direction, see how it's a little more stretchy this way. So we're gonna pop that onto the mat. One thing I don't have, which I wish I had, and I'm gonna have to get, is a brayer. And so basically, brayers are great when you're putting fabric on these mats to sort of get out all the wrinkles and all that kind of thing. Um, okay, so we'll put it onto the mat. We're just gonna have to kind of do it with our hands. Some fabrics are easier to work with than others when it comes to that. So, okay, so we have it on the mat. And so let's take it over to the Cricut Maker and cut. Okay, so now we're at our machine and we're going to load our fabric. And I have the rotary blade in the machine. So now let's like to cut. So we're back on the craft table and this is so simple. Literally just pull the fabric away. Perfect cut every time. Just pull that t-shirt material up and there we go. So this is a very simple but effective and I'm gonna show it to you in a minute how it looks on mask. Um, now again, these are not rated by the CDC or anything like this. This is just something so that you can have some protection when you go out um, and about and have protection for your kids. Okay, so I hope you guys saw how easy that was. So you see how it comes off? It's literally just hooking around your ears. It is that simple. So you just hook it around your ear, hook it around ear, and then you take the little tabs at the bottom and hook them around your ear. It's literally that quick, isn't that great? Okay, so if you like your mask just as it is, then you're done with your project. But if you would like to fun it up a little bit, let's keep going. Okay, so I've cut out two masks out of white fabric or white t-shirt fabric and it was an infusible ink t-shirt. And so I thought it would be really fun to do like infusible ink lips on it. Now, if you are just using a regular t-shirt, you could use iron-on to put this on as well. And you could even use glitter or something. It would be kind of fun, right? So if you go into images um, and just search lips, there's all different kinds um, that you could use. I've already chosen one, so let's cancel and I'll unhide that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, cut out just the lips. So I'm going to hide the mask and I'm going to actually duplicate that and do two of them since I have two masks. And we'll go ahead and make it. And because this is infusible ink, we want to mirror our design. Okay, and continue. So our maker is already connected. Now we just have to select our materials and I want infusible ink. And we just wanna use infusible ink transfer sheet. I'll star that so it shows up in my favorites next time. 
Now make sure that you switch your blades back from the rotary blade to the fine point blade. Okay, so let's hop back to the craft table and we'll put our infusible ink transfer sheet on our mat. So this is my infusible ink. I'm gonna use cherry red. So if you've not used infusible ink before, um, it comes in these black packagings. And the reason for it is that um, it's to protect it from sunlight and things. One thing about scissors, guys, if you have fabric scissors and you're cutting, right? You know, sewing, cutting fabric, that kind of thing, make sure your fabric scissors stay for fabric only. Even small things like this, don't use your good scissors. Um, make sure that you have separate scissors that you use for other things. Okay, so this, when in, done within heat, it's going to look like this. So we are going to need a very small piece for this project. And oh, by the way, infusible ink, it comes with um, a little piece of uh, infusible ink fabric so that you can test it if you want to. And it also comes with um, paper to protect as well. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, looking at Cricut Design Space, I need a piece of material that is three inches by eight. And so I always go just slightly over. I hate wasting material and so I don't want to have to recut. And so with this, I love this little cutter because it will get it very precise. So like there's the eight mark. You probably can't see that on camera. But then that way you're getting a perfect straight cut. And then I'm going to use scissors to just trim this little piece just because it would be, because this is rolled, it's hard to put back in. But I know that I'm getting a good accurate piece of material using my Cricut Straight Edge. Okay, so now we're going to apply that to the mat. And because we reversed it, we are gonna put it face up on the mat. Okay, put that down with our fingers. Okay, so I decided to make um, it just a smidge smaller. And so the lips are a little closer to my actual face size. Okay, so here's one key. When you're pulling material off of a mat, make sure that you are bending the mat and not the material. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now what we wanna do is just weed out our design. And you know, weeding is a little bit different with um, infusible ink. You don't really use a weeding tool as much as you use tweezers, and you sort of crack the material. And then it will pull away. So see how easy that is? You may not even have to use tweezers, but sometimes, like if it's a some detailed cut, you might have to use tweezers. Just peel that off. Take out those center pieces. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what both of these look like. Here are my scissors. I'm gonna separate the two of those. We're gonna break out our Easy Press Mini, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so this is the mask cut out, and what I did is I actually put it on and I used my fabric pen because this washes out like if you mess up, but I used my fabric pen um, with it on to sort of mark where my lips would fall. And now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my infusible ink and I've heated up my Easy Press to mini till it's fullest temperature or it's hottest temperature, and now I'm going to apply um, my lips. And what you'll also want is heat resistant tape. Now this is pretty tacky, so the liner is kind of keeping it down, but if for some reason it didn't keep it down, there is a heat resistant tape that Cricut makes that you can use to tape down your design. And it's made specifically for infusible ink. You can find it in your local craft store or on Cricut.com, and I'll put a link to it down below. Okay, so we're not gonna use this today just because I don't feel like I need it. The thing's holding it down pretty well. And then we're going to take our mini and you want to cover the entire project at one time if you can. So oftentimes I'm gonna use a much larger Easy Press just because the design is not gonna be this small, but this works really great for these masks.
Okay, for an easy press, you wanna make sure that, I mean, excuse me, for infusible ink, you want to make sure that you are allowing it to cool so that it can, you know, the ink is transferring into the fabric. Okay, it's cool. Are you ready for the big reveal? Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, so I hope you found that craft easy and I hope you will make these for you and your family. And again, there is a sew version if you would rather use that one on Cricut Design Space. So for these, um, see, just the little holes at the top and the bottom. And super simple, easy to cut out, easy to wash, easy to make. I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and join me every week for new videos. See you next time.